man, literally just pixels away that whole match. I mean, the first game, I think Zerasu was like probably 2% away from dying for that initial combo, but that flip jump was so clutch because Danny hard read that option, was ready with the back air, and she was just able to get out of dodge, but now we have ourselves a reset. But what a hot ass game, five. Oh, wait, no, that was a reset. Yeah, it was a reset. Oh, okay, yeah, you're saying that game was hot, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My the game bad. was hot, yeah. All right. All right, okay. starting back over, just kind of scrapping a little bit at the center. I kind of wonder where Danny's headspace is. I mean, I imagine he's got to be in good spirits because it was just such a close nail biter for the reset to happen. He's got plenty of time to oh. make more adaptation. No Yo, time. hello? What? what are we doing? That was so crazy. Dorsak was dead there. He was. He was dead. He literally had to use the flip jump to make it back to the stage. In great, just incredible play from him right now. He's really got a lot of momentum. He's playing hot. Okay, air dodging to the ledge. Danny able to find the grab though. Dorsap using that flip jump to get back to center stage. Have to watch out for this near flip kick. Man, all right, let's see if Danny can maybe slow the pace down just a little bit. I feel like it's just, he's just a day late and a dollar short because like he really is calling out great options for Dorsap, but just something slightly happens and it's just maybe a little bit of plot armor. I don't know, but Danny got to find his way back in here. He's taking a ton of damage and now the whole stock and Dorsop is up two stocks in the first minute. Yeah, definitely feeling himself after that game five has a lot of momentum here up two stocks to one. And again, just still an advantage. Danny hasn't really been able to find an opening. It feels like Dorsop's just kind of smothering him, able to use that jab to send back to the ledge. F-Tilt has a get off me option. She said, get back to that ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, F-Tilt's just such a good grounded option to stuff out these approaches from Danny. All right, okay, Danny yeah. finally finding a stock. Dorsop was just in a masterful amount of control right there with everything. Uh, I don't necessarily know how Danny can take this back. Of course, he can slow the pace down and try to pick his shots and really think about game two. I don't want to like say game one is over, but this is this is just one of the ones you kind of just got to like just kind of let go, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, but he's firing right back. If he's able to find like a fair back air here at the ledge, barely not getting the uh, the berry on that. Not going to kill with the uppy across the stage. Excellent DI from Danny. Oh, but that should do yeah, it. That's yeah, that side will definitely do it. Dang, so I don't want to, we're, we're a little close to the players, so I don't want to pop off too loud, but this is one of those things where like, you lose a game five nail biter, you're like, all right, let's at least run it back. You get like a crazy play with that down air, and then you end up dying instead, and then all the momentum just keeps going. That's one of those things where like mentally, it can get really, really taxing, because it's just like, you're so close to the finish line, but just barely missing it. It's gonna take a lot of work uh, for any player, of course, but definitely for Danny to just keep his composure, stay calm, slow things down, and just really try to reset everything. Because I really feel like Doorstop took a lot of that game five momentum and just rocketed through that game one. Yeah, for sure. Great, back to PS2. Danny seems to be slowing it down a little bit, just not finding that approach. Letting Doorstop come to him and with an option, able to get 33% off of it. Okay, and again, using that landing there, it doesn't seem like Dorsop has a great option out of shield to contest it. So uh, Danny can kind of just lock him down in shield. Okay. Ooh, uh -oh. I love that falling up there. Tries to find another one off the platform to start a ladder, but not able to find it. But again, just a really good way of like controlling that space where Danny's trying to land right in front of him. And it is a great combo tool, so really good stuff. Ooh, okay. all right. Danny's doing a really good job of like responding to the flip kick now. Like, Dorstop got a couple berries that maybe he shouldn't have found, but Danny's reacting really good here. Oh, battle of the dash tag. Zero suit's coming out just a little bit faster. Ooh. I love the way Danny outspaced that, though. Okay. Yeah, these back airs at the ledge are so scary from Danny. Definitely a kill percent, but Dorstop staying locked down in shield. ZSS is typically a character you see in the air, but able to find the back air on the platform instead with. Um, for Danny. Okay, Yo. just barely missing that down smash. Getting himself another opportunity here. Definitely wants to keep this lead, but you see Doorstop throwing out those Zares, throwing out those down smashes. A lot of things that can spell disaster if Danny's spacing is not very on point. And kind of playing that uh, same trick from Danny there, using the backer to try to cover jump. Danny staying locked in shield. Wow. Crazy boost kick yeah. out of shield right there. Not gonna kill, but I think the big difference here in the matchup is that um, Doorstop can't really rely on shield nearly as hard as Danny can because Doorstop's grab is going to be um, 
a lot more committal and a lot laggier. So it's going to uh, create a lot of opportunities for Danny to get hard punishes. Whereas for ZSF, she doesn't have a great grounded whip option. A lot of the time, you're just going to see like a dash attack or an F tilt depending on spacing. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, Danny doing really solid right now, holding down center, not pressing a whole lot of buttons, and Ooh. again, really starting to get better and better at punishing flip kick as the set goes on. That is the benefit, of course, to being a winner side grand. You have, you know, so much time to just really study your opponent as the match is happening. Okay, side B will definitely kill. We saw doorstop try to use it there, not gonna work out. Up throw, great burst option there for doorstop, really good kill option as well. If you're not ready to DI it, uh, definitely can can steal some stocks away just like that. For sure. All right, yeah, Danny definitely, you know, he's got the lead. He's still just being really cautious here, trying to come up with these fallen neutral layers. Great coverage. I love jumping forward, forcing doorstop to just bait out that get up attack like he was gonna hit him and then just coming back to that back air. Excellent play from Danny. Okay, and Danny just playing super patient on the platform here, knowing that Dwarfstop's gonna have to jump up with like a fair and up air and can just shield right through it. Nice punish here with the down throw into dash attack, bread and butter here for, for Danny. Yeah, and that Nair's just gonna really shut down a lot of the aerial approaches from ZSS. She's really struggling to get off the, the ledge here. Ooh, I like that air dodging back onto the stage, being like, you will not be edge guarding <laughs> me today. <laughs> In fact, I'm still here. Okay. Have to watch out here at the uh -oh. ledge. Ooh, nice. Yeah, up there to kind of reset. Oh, yeah. not a move you want to risk trading with. That Wolf Flash has a crazy amount of knockback. And Danny did exactly what he needed to do, slow down the pace, was able to win and take a two stock and just really kind of force doorstop to just chill for a little bit. I do appreciate the doorstop went off stage. We're not really seeing a lot of um, edge guards from doorstop, but it's because of that risk. Like he played with fire in that last situation, lost his stock for it, but it, it, it's really hard to consistently hit that down smash too. So mm -hmm. we've seen that he wasn't able to find those kills in that game and so had to get a little creative and kind of got burned for it. He sure did. So now we are looking at game three of the reset game, uh, five, six, seven, eight of the set. Is that right? Can I math you? Game eight? Yes. 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 Uh, for anyone watching that does not know, if you ever see Sai on a grand finals block, it is going to be a minimum of eight games. <laughs> Very often it will be 10 games, uh, which is fine. I'd love to see this action, especially after this long weekend. I'm very happy to see these players really just fighting to the nail. But yeah, it's never a quick grand finals for me. Sometimes it's a curse, but I feel like it's a blessing in this case. I love watching these two play, and they're playing so hot right now. Very back and forth sets. So very excited to, to see what these guys have lined up for each other. And the adaptations that we're going to see don't have a, a jump there, but just choosing to go to the other side of the stage, reset this neutral. But again, just really struggling to uh, to get out from underneath the platform. Danny playing super aggressive in this game. Yeah, he's moving different. He's scouting out a lot of options. He's starting to punish with Blaster, which is something we didn't really see very often. But uh, if you are on the other side of the stage, yeah, she wants to flip jump. She wants to be near the platform. So great awareness just cutting that space off. And yet another up tilt. It's going to give Danny the stock, and he's a very healthy Ooh. percent. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, great grab there from Danny. Tying up percents, actually lapping doorstop. Damn. No shot. Okay, almost kills there with that back air. I really thought that was going to do it. Uh, yeah, Danny yet to even be touched Ooh. and just straight up gets a zero death. He is really figuring something out here. Yeah, trying to find this near flip kick at the ledge, but Danny aware of that. Just not letting doorstop get it. Going to have to see some, some cheese here if we're going to see a win from doorstop on this game three. Danny is just... Yo, he is moving right now. Hands on the steering wheel. It feels like doorstop's just not able to get a good opening. Danny just pedal to the metal and really taking a lead in this game three. Yeah, he, and he's just absolutely just falling for nothing. Like, he's not getting hit by those short hop aerials. He's not getting hit by Zare. He's not running into Paralyzer. He is just fully just unlocked everything he needs. And Jesus Ooh. Christ, that bear going to give Danny a three stock, even from center stage. Yeah, that was crazy. Those bears were just hitting perfectly. So definitely have to shake that off, just like Danny was able to shake off that game five. Yeah. And that game one. That game one, with, they're just going back and forth. I love sets like this. These guys are both so talented. Yeah, like sometimes it's like really close nail biters. And other times it's like one or the other just jumps during somebody. And it's just, it's a sight to see for sure. But now we are at game nine. Doorstop got to win the next two if he wants to take this. But Danny just needs one more game. Again, so close to the finish line. Barely lost the first part of grand finals. But maybe with what he's unlocked, he's going to be able to take this. Who knows? But let's get into this next game. All right, Doorstop gonna have to slow things down after that game. Danny was just 
pedal to the metal playing so fast and really outpacing Dorsap, just able to find a lot of punishes that uh, Dorsap just didn't have an answer to. Yeah. And so far, the trend starting to continue. Danny's evasiveness is just mad. Like, hom homie used double team like 12 times. Like, you can't hit him right now. All right. Playing super patient on these platforms, but again, just constantly finding these back airs. Doorstop getting an opening, but whiffing that up smash, kind of resetting the situation again. Not able to find these there as Danny's just been very consistent. I think he has a pretty good read on where Doorstop's trying to place those there. Tries to find the down air instead, but not able to find it. Would have been clutch. He was able to find it early against the uh, Puff player. I remember that. But mm -hmm. Danny, not going to be so misfortunate. And again, covering so many options. I love that. Forcing Doorstop to shield and getting the grab and just resetting the situation. Doorstop has to be so incredibly careful around that wolf back air. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Kind of an awkward spot to be in. Try to go for the up air extension to just force the ladder off the top. But Danny going to kind of miss the mark on that and um, in the spacing. And now finds the first stop with the back air. Not quite turns out doorstop's gonna lose i love the way that danny's throwing out these back airs at the ledge covering the high recovery it forces doorstop to go to the ledge but nice. that's where he's been really struggling we've also seen him struggling with these up tilts danny just so consistent of fishing his recoveries down to the to the stage and just relentless with these stocks yeah i promise you at the start of this set the number one thing i was concerned about was up tilt up tilt up tilt and danny has just made masterful use of that move uh, and again, evasiveness on Max. He's not in position for Zare. I think Doorstop is just going to have to find some kind of way to close the gap because, like, a lot of people tend to run into Zare because it's just such a surprising burst option. But Danny's really playing around it fantastic. Nice tomahawk there from Danny as well, putting Doorstop in this disadvantage situation, able to avoid those two back airs. But it could be curtains if Danny's able to find it once again. Yeah, and a lot of these trades, just the air to airs, are not working out in ZSS's favor. Yeah. Danny is just looking virtually untouchable. Homie was in Winterside Grands for a reason. We're seeing a great display of just perfect wolf spacing. And Dorsop just really not able to catch up right now. Almost dying from that back throw. He just cannot get in on Danny. I don't know what he needs to do. I don't know if he needs to dig deep. But right now, Danny is up two stocks, uh, potentially looking down the barrel of a double three stock to finish out these Grands if Dorsop doesn't find something. Yeah, Danny definitely has the momentum in his favor right now. Playing super fast, it feels like he has a speed buff on him. Just doorstop not able to find the stock. Tries to go for the back air there, but Danny able to fire back with that fair off of the ledge. Yeah, he's playing just flawlessly at this point. Like, he's just barely finding uh, these neutral airs or maybe a fair. Now he's trying to get the big confirm. Zero suit forced out with that uh, F tilt. Not going to have a jump, but almost dying uh -huh. to that down smash. A very clutch. What? Oh, no! And you saw it here, folks, a certified ZSS sucks moment. Danny falling out of the up smash and potentially about to take this game. Oh my gosh, this is so close. And back throw not gonna be just enough, but doorstop is just one decision away from that second place finish. We are at up throw percent, so if doorstop's able to find this, able to use the, the F tilt instead, Zare gonna kill. Yeah, just not able to make it back in that position, but this is a mountain to climb for doorstop sitting at 131 Just a stray hit from wolf can kill here. Yes, and this is the same position we saw earlier We're like uh up to not gonna do it just yet But the same position we saw earlier where Anthony was just struggling struggling to find something and Danny just went Maximum defense and just did not allow uh, the comeback to possibly happen He's gonna have to play perfect. Yeah, this might kill. No, not, not gonna just kill. yet uh Oh Oh, the lingering nair. Not enough. How Jesus. many kill screens are we going to okay. have? Yeah, but doesn't have the jump there. Good stuff to Danny for winning full bloom. Yes, incredible play from him. Really putting Tennessee on his back. What an incredible run, especially keeping his composure after that game five. He really dug deep. And you see a smile on his face. Of course, doorstop going out at second place. Uh, lost fairly early and went on a crazy tear to bring it back to grand finals, even getting the reset. But... Danny was just very composed, very calculated, and of course, you have so much time to figure out what your opponent is going for, and I think it really went to his favor the longer and longer the set went on. Yeah, for sure. Air to airing against CSS is typically something that's going to work out in our favor, but when you have those really large hitboxes and really strong moves from Wolf, Danny was just really able to use those tools for his favor and was just playing fantastic. Yeah, he really just locked in. Um, but yeah, definitely shout outs to both players. Want to give a huge shout out to production. You guys have been amazing. I also want to throw a shout out to House of 3K. Very happy to get to uh, hang out and work with you guys this weekend. It's been amazing. Shout outs to everybody. Shout outs to Ritual for 
uh, managing the commentary, letting us do this. Shout outs to Flambo even for swapping blocks around so me and Emma could cook it up on this top <sighs> four. I've had an amazing time here. It's been a great weekend. I'm very tired, but yes. uh, Full Bloom has been fantastic. And of course, if you're watching this from Mango stream, of course, shout outs to Mango. And of course, shout outs to the Melee community because this is just one of the most important legacy Midwest events, period, especially for Melee. So I'm always honored to be here. And Emma, my dear friend, we are finally at the end of a very difficult and long, long weekend, but I'm so happy to be closing this out with you of all people. Is there anything you want to say to the people? You guys can find me on Twitter at RealLifeSamus underscore and definitely check out my sponsor as well, Cincy Fair. They're doing a lot of really good stuff for the community and especially for the Midwest and Smash, um, helping a lot of underprivileged kids get into Smash Bros and really grow the community. So definitely check them out. Check out their YouTube as well. They have a lot of really cool content. If you want to play ZSS like Doorstop, check out the ZSS guide that he mm -hmm. um, he created. Definitely check out the Geist Bayonetta um, guide as well. And uh, yeah, just definitely go go subscribe yeah go subscribe go support cincinnati fear and of course if you're interested in my commentary journey want to see you know my tweets my you know s word post and all those other things check me out on twitter at side pblk i'm always open to you know new followers you know discussions or thank you criticism whatever it takes but definitely go ahead and give me a follow there on twitter and also if you're an anime nerd oh look an anime shirt is that maharaga that's crazy uh you should definitely check out my podcast at shonen chumps S-H-O-U-N-E-N Chumps on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Music, whatever you're listening to a podcast on, we are definitely there. We're always keeping up with current events. We are dragging live action Avatar if you want to hear the tea <laughs> on that. So definitely check us out. But guys, that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for this block. I have had a blast. I am taking my ass home to sleep. <laughs> but it has been an incredible weekend. We're signing off. Thank you so much. Bye.